Paul Keating is out of the cage, having resigned as head of the Barangaroo design team. The former Prime Minister is now free to get stuck into the critics of the controversial Sydney Harbourside development. He plans to take full advantage of the new arrangement to speak out against what he calls vandalism of the site. Paul Keating is off the Barangaroo Design Excellence Review Panel and on the loose. I've let myself out of the cage. I've taken the handcuffs off. I've got the 45, I've got the holsters on and the 45s well loaded. In his sights is Sydney's Lord Mayor, who this week tabled a petition in State Parliament calling for a halt to the development and an inquiry into the handling of the area. Mr Keating called the critics sandal-wearing, muesli-crunching, bike-riding pedestrians. The planning minister told him to play nice. I ask you to confirm to me that you will desist from any denigrating comments. Mr Keating responded with a resignation letter and turned down Brad Hazard's appeal for him to stay on, saying he refused to be muzzled. There was no attempt to muzzle Paul Keating. I'd have more success trying to hurdle this stadium than try and muzzle Paul Keating. I don't take on tasks that are impossible. But Mr Keating says the plan for a public headland park mirroring the historic Botanic Gardens is under threat because the petitioners want a private cruise ship terminal there. Port Authority plans show parking, customs and security would intrude. Two cruise ships would wipe out everything behind us. It would be just tarmac. Tarmac for two or three hundred metres. There may be 30 metres for security reasons. But we're not talking 200 metres. That's, that's a furphy. The National Trust says Mr Keating's preferred option is a very expensive, romanticised view of what the harbour might have been. It cuts away some of the current foreshore and it ignores 200 years of maritime history. The nub of it was to maintain the heritage of the working harbour. How do you do that without having something that's working through here? Clover Moore herself resigned from a role on the Barangaroo board last year so she could publicly oppose the plan. Now a last showdown looms. Deborah Rice, ABC News, Sydney.